Okay, so this is an explanation of number one off of the practice um, exam that Dr. T gave us for MedChem 2. Um, so basically you have an, a steroid ring here for an aglycone. And um, the questions that he likes to ask, um, this, similar to number one, are how to name the different bonding interactions here. So um, you have a ring system here with three six carbon rings and one five carbon ring. So basically you want to look at A and B, A and C, B and C, and B and D. Um, you want to look at the substituents that come off of these. So for A, B, um, there's a couple of choices here. I'll go over these. So cis or sin. So cis is when you have a connection between two rings like this, and there's a, you know, bonding right here. A sin would be the same thing, but between um, A, say A and C, or B and D. So you have to skip one ring to have sin or anti. So sin and anti mean the same thing as cis and trans, but you use sin and anti when you're skipping a ring and talking about the interaction between, uh, you know, like A and C, so you'd skip this middle ring, or B and D, so you'd skip this middle ring. That would be sin and anti. Um, and these are the things you look for. For cis, you know, it would be two similar bonds, either shaded or dashed, and trans would be uh, two opposite bonds. So first we're going to look at A and B. So you have this methyl here that's connected right here, and you have a hydrogen, and as you can see they're opposites. Uh, so we look over here and um, we want to focus in on trans. So the first one would be trans. Then we want to look at A and C. Um, so there's two choices here. You can look um, down here, if you look down here, you have one, two, three, four carbons away, and you have this hydrogen here that's on the C ring. On the A ring, you have one, two, so it would be these two here, so you have a methyl and a hydrogen. This is also on the C ring right here. Um, so you always want to look up here where they're closest, because that's going to give us a more accurate name. Down here, they're too far away. So you definitely don't want to look where there's four carbons. You want to focus up here. So as you can see, this one is uh, shaded, this one is dashed, so they're opposites. So if we look here, like I said, when you skip a ring, we skip uh, B, it's going to be anti. So that would be our next part. And then you look at B and C, similar to A and B. You look in the middle here. You have this H that is shaded and this H here that is dashed. So trans, um, B and D, remember we're skipping a ring here, we're skipping C. So um, similar to when we did A and C, uh, if you look up here, we have this H, which is one, two, three, four bonds away. So you don't want to look up here. But instead, if we look down here with this H and this OH, these are two away. So we want to look here and here. These are the same. So when they're the same and we're looking, uh, we skip one ring, that's called sin. So then we have sin. Finally, we look at C and D. And same thing that we did with AB and BC, you look in the middle. We have a shaded and a shaded, shaded methyl, shaded hydroxyl. So that's going to be the regular cis. So basically, to sum things up, you just go through, follow the A, B, A, C, B, C, B, D sequence. Um, in class, I know he went over how to name these, but he really didn't go over this part here, um, where, you know, if you look down here, you have to skip this one up here. So if you just follow that and know that sin and anti are the same thing as cis versus trans, but therefore when you skip a ring, then uh, you should be good. And this is the types of questions that he likes to ask on his exam.